Hi there and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers photo pee on your phone tutorial. Today we're going to have a look at making one of these cool concentric circle portraits. Um, we're going to look at doing that in a couple of easy steps. One thing we're going to need to do is obviously open up photo pee. So we're going to our web browser, start typing in photo pee. There it is. And then we're going to need a photograph to work from. I've already taken a portrait picture a moment ago, so I'm going to open that from my photo library, and here it is. I'm going to add that to photo P. Now, the next thing we need to do is get a image of some concentric circles. I went on the internet a little while ago, I found one that I liked, copied and pasted it, so I'll now be adding that too. So I'm going to go File, Open and Place, Photo Library, and there are my concentric circles. I'm going to add those. Now, you see they've come up a bit small, so I'm going to make them a bit bigger and put them where I want them. So first of all, I'm going to delete where it says 100% here and put in 200% and the same over here. I'm going to delete that and put 200% out. Then click Done. There are my concentric circles. Now I'm going to place those over the face. Now, to see what it's going to look like, I'm going to make sure that I have got them about 50% see-through so that when I place them, I can see where I want them to go. At the moment, they're a bit big still, so I'm just going to move them around a little bit. If I click on one of the corners on the Move tool, and I auto-select, and I've got Transform Control selected, I should be able to rescale it by pinching it with my finger. Sometimes it just spins it round which is what it's doing at the moment. And um, I'll come back to that and make sure I'm on the move tool. No, it doesn't want to know. It can get quite frustrating doing this on your phone, so we'll just revert back to the numbers and we'll type in 180%. If it's on a computer, it'd be a lot easier sometimes, but we're doing it on our phones to help with remote learning. So here we go. There is my concentric circles. They are now in the right place. What I don't want is the ones, the, the middle two concentric circles. So I'm going to remove those from the image using the elliptical marquee tool. I'm going to hopefully get this right first time. It's very tricky. There we go. I'm going to go edit, cut, I must rasterize my layers, I must remember that, so click on the layer, I want to rasterize layer, click on the layer menu, click on rasterize, click back on the layer menu, I've still got it selected, go edit, cut, and then I want to fill it back in with some white, so I need to collect, select, deselect, I would like to choose the paint bucket, which will be hiding nicely behind one of these. There it is. I need to make sure I've got some white paint and I click on it. And I've now got the middle where the eye is. I didn't want that as part of my design. So I've left that open so that if I zoom out slightly, you will see when I do the effect, I won't be affecting my eye in the middle of it. Right. That is exactly where I want it. It's the right place. It's now I've got to make some more adjustments to it. So we want to put the opacity back to 100%. We want to hide the background layer. So we have just got the concentric circles. We need to select all the concentric circles so that this effect will work. So we're going to go select. We're going to go color range. And all the circles are selected. I don't need it very fuzzy, so I'll bring that right down and then click OK. I should now have a flashing selection of just the concentric circles. Now, I need to go to my layer menu. I need to hide the eye on the concentric circles. Open the eye on the main picture. OK, click the layer menu again. 
Now I've got everything that's going to be copied is flashing in there. So I go edit, copy, edit, paste. Nothing appears to have happened, but if I go to my layers and I hide the background, you can see that I've got this concentric circle cutout bit. I'm now going to use the transform tool to transform that by flipping it horizontally. So I'm going to go transform, flip horizontal, and there you have it. That is my really cool concentric circle portrait. Now, it might be that you want to make a few refinements to the image. You might want to make background brighter or lighter so I'm going to have a play around with that before I'm completely happy with how it looks. So I'm going to go to my layer menu, go to the, my background layer, and go to my image adjustments. I'm going to look at brightness first, I'll make it slightly darker and then it should make the concentric circles stand out a little bit more. I go to the layer menu with the concentric circles on I'm just going to take the opacity down a little touch, so it's not quite so harsh, so maybe a little bit more, about 65%. There we are. Now I'm much happier. It was too in your face earlier. Now you can see that it is definitely a face. It's me with my concentric circles on. Okay, this would look great in one of your artist responses. There's a few different artists who have done similar things, so if you have a look at those, there is... Um, lots more you can do, different shapes, different amounts, different widths of concentric circles. You could use straight lines, grids, all those kind of things. So have fun experimenting with this technique. Remember, it's just on the separate layers. And obviously, do not forget to save your work. So export as JPEG, click Save, click Download, it's saved. Okay, thank you very much for watching Quentin Carpenter's Nature of Flowers video. If you like this video, put a thumbs up. If you would like to subscribe if you're not already, obviously tick the subscribe button, and if you tick the bell next to it, you'll be notified next time I post a video. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and enjoy making your concentric circle portraits. Okay, goodbye.